Greetings and welcome to a quick Keen's Guide, and this is about breaking the economy in the Sengoku Dynasty, at least in the 0.3.2.2 version. So you've heard me talk about the seashell thing that you can do, and here I'll do a very fast video about uh, just how much I get at the start. So here I am in a new game, and I'm just going to go and collect seashells. So at the start of it, I'm going to go out and just pick up a few things as we go. We won't even be finishing the Akko quest right off the bat. We can just simply get some fast travel things done and go from there. And I'll just get some basic supplies. Let's just go get this stuff and see what we can kit ourselves out with right at the start. And what we'll end up doing... There we go, talk to Akko. So, do we even want to start the game out? We could easily start it out. If you choose to, you go for it. But I want to focus on getting mass amounts of money. That is what we're going to do. And this is going to make us have a new choice in how we want to live our life as a person in this area. Since at some point, you can buy yourself everything you need, if you like, once you have the cash. So here we are finding seashells on the shore. And you'll notice that I'm picking them all up. There's going to be rocks at times. There's going to be seashells other times. The conches, the seashell. And you, every once in a while, find an oyster... And the oyster will have a pearl in it, and that's just a gem, isn't it? It's just going to be a gem. Because when you pick up that pearl, that thing is going to be worth 200 coins. So it's going to be a lot of cash. From here, you can see what I'm doing. I'll just kind of fast forward my way. What am I going to do here? I'm going to take myself, and I'm going to walk down this whole coastline. And we're going to pick up all the seashells the whole way down. Then we'll go into Segi, sell a bunch of things. Then we can come back out and go to Aratani and sell things out. So here we go. Be ready for some fun fast forward and, and a whole lot of cash at the end of this. Here we are at stop number one, because here's a cook who I can sell to. She has 557 coin on her. I'll just sell her all these seashells, and then I'm done. Look at that. She's got 17 coin left, and if I wanted to, I could buy any of these things. Oh, look, lotus seeds I could take for making a garden i could do as i please here's a good collection of resources if you want to start farming early congratulations we have a whole bunch of stuff already and as you saw before i got ambushed on the beach by a person with a spear but you can run away from them pretty easily while you're here i think it's worth you stopping by this little house and getting the quest started just so you don't have to come back here too far later you can talk to her find out what her quest is about and once you're done there you go you have a quest you can compete later on and you get a go here a wind out of this from here i have 160 shells and i have seven pearls at this point i think it's good enough for me to run inside and go sell some things you can continue down the shoreline and continue to get all of the seashells that you want because at this point you are already going to be absolutely rich so we'll head on into segi and here this will allow us a fast travel location for the future Please do keep in mind that if you didn't get your Sasogi fast travel, like if you didn't run all the way into Sasogi at the start, then you won't have a fast travel location to get back to Akko. So please be sure that you did that. In mine here, I happen to just kind of rush past it. And you did see that as I was running down the beach, I definitely got attacked by a lot of different bandits. So you will run across bandits here and there, but you can outrun them easily and they stop following you. All right, here we are in Segi. Here's our first person we can sell to. You there. How would you like to buy some seashells? Thanks. And if you want, you can leave here with a free hammer. It costs you 50. You can make it for a lot less. But you can also buy some planks. You can buy some logs. You can do whatever you wish here as you go. So do you need to even harvest trees anymore at this rate? Do you even need to chop down trees that much in the early game? Well, probably a few just to keep building. But this will certainly give you a huge jump start on things. And if you're ever sitting there near the end of a season, you're saying, oh, I don't have enough medicine for my villagers. Well, go sell some seashells and go ahead and buy all of the things. And look at that water for only two. You would max out your storage there pretty quick. So we'll find all of our people here that we can sell to and just make some more coin. Another vendor. And he's got 778 coins that we can have him separate from. All right, thanks, buddy. We're at 2,400 coin already. And we'll climb on this cart and get a good run. I believe from here, our next step is 
Look at that. We have a person who can sell us a wonderful bow because we're sitting here without a bow and maybe it'd be worthwhile for us to have some arrows. Why not? It's 900 coin for that. Oh, well, that's a problem. I better go ahead and sell some more seashells. It's a half bow. I'd like to have a half bow, but that's okay because now I've unlocked a number of recipes and I have something to defend myself with in case I'm running around and I decide that I don't want to keep getting attacked by bandits anymore. And then I'm finding a nice knife while we were out about. Let's see here. Here's another hunting trader. Ah, uh, still just a short bow, but we can deal with that later. And then we'll sell some more things. Look at us go. 3,460 coin already. From here, if we had any fast travel locations unlocked, if you're in your game and you're already further along, you could just go to your fast travel location and travel. I don't have anything unlocked at this time. I was not close enough to the Sasogi one, so oops, that was a boo-boo on my part. From here, Aratani is right here. Iwasaki is right there. So what you would do with the rest of this is honestly, just go find yourself to a village, sell more things, and be rolling in the cash. What I've done with this is I've, I've gone to Iwasaki and I've decided, huh, do I even need to mine anymore? I do mine just because it saves that little bit of money, but then I bought myself the coolest armor I could get. Keep in mind too that if you want to get some neat stuff, the monastery is right here. And that is a great place to buy some very cool outfits if you want them right away from the start of the game. And you will have to pay for some of your unlocks as you go. So this is a great way for you just to start the game out and have some free cash and make it easy on you. I hope you enjoyed and have fun breaking the economy. Take care.